Hi, this is week six of EFT tapping for improving your vision. And if this is your first time here at my channel, welcome. And I post EFT tapping videos every week. At the moment, I'm doing a series of videos on tapping to improve eyesight. In response to a clinical trial that I'm taking part in with Dr. Peter Stapleton and if you want to find out more about her work you can click the link in the description below and I'm sharing the things that I'm learning on this trial to see if it can help you. Now if you've never tried EFT tapping before it's very simple there is science and research to back it up and if you want there i've made an introduction to eft video and again the link is below which explains the tapping points but you don't actually need to um to to know what they are you can just follow along with me so this is week six and we're looking at uh limiting beliefs to do with aging and eyesight now, I don't know about you, but when I was growing up, I had that belief that once you hit 40, your eyesight got worse and you had to wear glasses. I saw it with my grandparents, then my mother, my dad did resist it for a long time until his arms weren't long enough. And, um, and then when I think I was about 44, I used to sing in a choir and I noticed it was getting harder to read the music and for most of my life up until that point until well, a few months before I'd had 20-20 vision so what was going on why did my eyesight suddenly get worse there was no medical reason for that so uh, I've noticed as well in the last few weeks I mean it can't do any harm it might work it might not and that's the good thing about EFT, you don't have to believe it. <laughs> you can just do it. And when you do it, you might feel emotions coming up. And that's good because that shows that it's working and, and stuff is shifting. And I had my eyes tested a couple of weeks ago. And it was the first time, I don't know in how many years, that my vision hadn't got any worse. Um, which was, well, I don't know if it was because of this. Can't say. But it's not doing any harm anyway. So get into a comfortable position. It's good to have your, your feet on the ground. I like doing it standing up, but you don't have to. But if you're sitting, if it's possible for you to have your feet, um, your legs uncrossed and feet on the ground. And it doesn't matter which side you tap on, just follow along with me. So start on the side of the hand. Even though I have these beliefs about ageing and eyesight, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though these limiting beliefs about ageing may be affecting my eyesight, I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I took on these beliefs about eyesight and ageing unconsciously, I love and accept myself anyway. Eyebrow point. I learned that as you got older, your eyesight got worse. Side of the eye. I learned this from my family. Under the eye. I learnt it from opticians. Under the nose. I learnt it from the media. Chin. I learnt it from society in general. Collarbone. And I believed it to be true. Under the arm. I believe that as you get older, 
your eyesight gets worse. Top of the head. So as I got older, my eyesight did get worse. Eyebrow. But I wonder if it is actually true. Side of the eye. I even heard that it didn't have to get worse as you got older. Under the eye. But I took on the belief that it did. Under the nose, because I saw it happening all around me. Chin. Older people wearing glasses. So to me, it's normal that your eyesight gets worse as you get older. Under the arm. And I never even questioned it. Top of the head. I tried to resist it, but it happened anyway. Point. But what if your eyesight didn't have to get worse as you got older? Side of the eye. What if those limiting beliefs are actually affecting my eyesight? Under the eye. What if those limiting beliefs are actually getting in the way of seeing clearly? Under the nose. What if it's those limiting beliefs that are impairing my vision? Chin. What if I could change my beliefs that my eyesight didn't have to get worse? Collarbone. And what if I could release those limiting beliefs from my system now? Of the arm. There's a lot of limiting beliefs there. Top of the head. So maybe if I just start releasing them just a little bit. Eyebrow point. Releasing any limiting beliefs that are getting in the way of my eyesight being perfect. Side of the eye, letting go of those limiting beliefs so my eyesight doesn't get worse. Under the eye, letting go of those limiting beliefs so I can see more clearly. Under the nose, letting go of those limiting beliefs now. Chin, one by one, so my eyesight doesn't get worse. Collarbone. And it may even get better. Under the arm. And I can choose to believe that that is possible too. Top of the head. And I can choose to believe that your eyesight doesn't have to get worse as you age. Eyebrow, and I can choose to believe that my eyesight is getting a little clearer every day. Side of the eye, I'm seeing more clearly every day. Under the eye. And my eyesight is, at the very least, staying stable. Under the nose. If it doesn't get better, it's certainly not getting any worse. Chin. So I'm choosing now to let go 
of any beliefs that I hold about eyesight and ageing. It wasn't my fault that I took those beliefs on. I'm very young, but now I'm taking responsibility for letting them go. Top of the head, letting go of all limiting beliefs now. Stop tapping, take a deep breath. And it may be that you've heard other beliefs about ageing and what's going to happen to your body. So if anything came up for you during that round, you can always go back and tap on that again and you can change any of my words to words that feel um, true for you and resonate with, with you. So thank you for tapping along with me today. Um, if you, this is your first time here, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. And if you find these videos helpful, please consider supporting my work by making me a donation and buying me a cup of tea. All the links are below. I'll see you again for more tapping next week. And in the meantime, take care, go well, and lots of love.